Good morning everybody. Today is a beautiful sunny day on the lake and I'm at the house. I've already done my shopping. <laughs> my shopping? This is how my shopping looks like. Um, the most beautiful bricks. Um, <laughs> I, I have counted how much I needed. Um, but I'm not sure, maybe, uh, so I got less than I needed because I have other stuff to use. So I will start with that and then we will see how it goes and I always can go back and buy more. All right, so the first project for today is to carry all the bricks uh, down to the house. And the day today is just lovely. I'm not sure if I want to do the fireplace project because the weather is so good and the only thing I want to do is um, doing nothing, sitting in the garden and looking at the lake and at all my plants and flowers. Oh, maybe I can afford half an hour of this luxury later today on the sunshine. Good. I have spotted the cat. Look at him. Is that the cat who comes to use our house as his private toilet? Is that him? Hey, excuse me. Yes, yes, you. Hey. Well, very confident. All right then. And still, yeah, maybe it's not just him. Maybe it's all the cats of Aura coming through this window uh, to pee in our house. I don't know. <laughs> but definitely this one. Confident on our territory. Aren't you? <laughs> Very pretty cat though. I love ginger cats. They're delicious. <laughs> no joking. Oh, the garden looks so lovely. So, so lovely. This is my working station <laughs> for today uh, and I just looked at it, it doesn't look, look festive enough and cheerful. It looks a bit sad, especially with all the dirt around the fireplace. So I started just tidying it up. I decided first I will make this place pleasant to work for me. So yeah, project number number two. Now, this is what I call good-looking fireplace project. <laughs> All right. Um, yesterday, I spent, actually I spent the whole day just uh, for the preparation works and thinking about what I have to do because I've never done anything like that before. Uh, not many videos on YouTube are the same or I mean the job I have to do now here is a bit different from what I've seen on YouTube so I'm kind of doing um, is as it goes with the flow <laughs> and the preparation job was to to clear more the backsplash and to make it ready for laying bricks and to make the base ready to lay down those boards. So I leveled it yesterday, more or less. Uh, and today I will be installing those boards. 
as a base and then I will lay the bricks uh, as a backsplash but before doing that what I have to do is to uh, cut off this piece of metal that is sticking out of the wall and I think this is it then I will mix the cement and I will start with the base Ah, please wish me luck. I need it right now very much. And I hope today, well, at least half of the fireplace will be totally transformed. <laughs> are the tiles the first tiles i will lay they're having a very lovely bath here in this bucket and then the bricks will be going into the bucket to have a lovely jacuzzi <laughs> that what they say on the pack this is brilliant that they have the whole instructions how to use this mortar and the bricks as well so I'm really pleased with that and uh, then in my my happy yellow bucket I will be uh, mixing this stuff okay let's see how it goes and then I have to clean better the whole thing from the dust and little things <laughs> Okay, very exciting moment actually. <laughs> I hope it will be fine and even more or less because I I mean I I checked yesterday it has to be fine with the level so we'll see. And this is my mixture. Actually this is like a chocolate. Uh if well the cement has one texture than the the other stuff I used cement with um oh I don't know what it is it's like cement what I used to fill the holes cement with um, uh, lime and sand was different texture that was like uh, whipped cream and this one like um, chocolate actually so I think today instead of of whipped cream we'll be using chocolate mousse for laying those lovely tiles let's start i will place you inside of the fireplace like that oh this is so scary i think i will start with two boards in the middle and then i hope well, I don't know, actually, the first thing is really scary. Where do I start? From the left, from the right, from the middle? What do I do? I don't know. Okay, I can start, I think, applying the, the chocolate mousse. Ooh, so soft and smooth. Mm, lovely. Okay. Mm, this is scary. I'm not sure if a little bit more of water. I think I need some more water. And add just a little bit more. And I will mix you. I'm <laughs> procrastinating. I'm doing everything. But not applying the stuff because I am really scared. I'm really scared. It's gonna be fine. Okay, the chocolatey mass is ready to be applied. 
Okay, it goes here. Uh, well, no, I will start from the beginning. I won't do the middle first. I will do just the left one first and then other ones. Oh, oh. It does feel like a chocolate mousse. <laughs> ah, I hope it will be all right. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. It has to be fine. I measured yesterday. It has to be fine. Oh, I don't know. They say I have to apply like 10 millimeters, one centimeter of the stuff. I don't know. Okay, I think that it is. This is it. Okay. Okay, so let's let's try and pull the first. Or maybe I have to apply to the whole area. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. I'm putting in the first. No, I'm, I'm doing the whole thing. And then I'm putting. No, I'm putting. Oh, I don't know what to do. Okay. I will do first two. And then I can do the other two. I think it has to be fine. It has to be fine. It has to be fine. My chocolatey mass has to work for that. Good. Okay. Okay, the first one goes in. Ah! Oh my god! Okay. And the second one goes in. This is so scary. The second one. Good. And then the, 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 oh, I don't know what to do. Oh my God. What do I do? What do I do? Feels I will do the whole thing, I think. will film really quick because it, it is really fast setting stuff uh, so I put two and now I will put another two and I have to pray they are in level oh my goodness
it's a good success. Really proud of myself. <laughs> Look at that. Ta-da! I think it tastes quite good. Really good. Come down, down there. Really good. Da -da -da -da. I can't believe it. It is really good. Oh la la. Okay, I will let this set and then I can start with my bricks. Ooh. <laughs> Quite exciting. I have laid the first layer of bricks. Uh, it looks fine. It is extremely scary. <gasps> and yesterday I tried to feed the bricks in and four bricks went perfectly inside on the first row of bricks. But today I had to cut one, the last one, and just that bit. So yeah, I think it's just with the mortar it's is exactly the size of the mortar in between of the three seams so uh, very interesting but then every second layer i have to cut the bricks anyway so it will be much fun <laughs> oh look at that it is not bad at all not bad at all and at least it's better than it used to be <laughs> Okay, uh, the second layer is laid and I'm extremely happy. Look at that! It's almost perfect. <laughs> oh, this is so good. Um, and I can see a beautiful view from the bedroom window. I hope today is the last day I can see our bedroom window from the fireplace. Back to the project. Three layers of bricks are installed. So happy with the result. Hopefully it will just settle down and it will work perfectly. Um, I'm quite tired and it is lunch time. So I will be going outside into my garden and to have um, something for lunch. Actually, I haven't prepared anything. So I, so I have to go to the cave and check what we have there. And my uh, port corner looks lovely. I, I, I really, really love them. Forget me nots. They're so beautiful and the color is so vibrant. So I hope they will spread in this port. And this rose looks really happy. Look, look at those tiny little shoes. 
Oh, she's starting to grow. I'm so, so happy. Look at this one. This is Polka Rose. Beautiful one. And we have tulips here, hyacinths. I think those tulips will be first to bloom. Still, a few weeks maybe to see them bloom, but we ha I have so much hope for them. And here in this corner, my poor Pierre de Ronsard is still in port. I have to buy a good and huge pot for him. Or oh, actually, he might go in the same port as this one on that side. And this corner will be transported somewhere. Yeah, I think this that was the plan and I've forgotten about it. And I can see the ladybirds everywhere. I could see a second ago one there at the top of this stake. Oh, come here. I can see her. Maybe Can you see this little one on the top of the stick? So this is the ladybug. And then there is another one. Oh, here she is. Look at her. Oh, I'm so happy to see them in the garden. And I hope this, my little nurse, rose nursery, uh, providing enough food for them. Look at those. This is just the best food for, for these little things. So I hope they're happy in my garden. Also, the climbing hydrangea starts. Look at those leaves. Look at this. She's so beautiful. I've never had one. To be honest, I actually never seen one um, in, in person. <laughs> uh, and I'm really excited to see that this one to grow in my garden. I have to plant her as soon as possible. We have tiny little bugs. Look at this one. Never seen a bug like that. Um, we have, I have, I will, the plan I think for now, it will be here in this pot, but I can't fill this pot with soil just now, uh, before paving this terrace. Oh, it will be just impossible to move the pot. So I will be reporting her in a plastic pot, but, but much bigger one for a couple of months. And then we can transport it in her permanent position in this pot. Though actually I was thinking maybe I can actually feed in this terracotta pot two plastic pots uh, a bigger one like huge one that much space for the hydrangea and maybe a little one for the rose tiny little rose this size i think it will be a good combo and as the hydrangea requires other type of soil we can feed two different pots inside and then the top soil i can just mulch it with the wood chip or something this is one of the options okay let's have a look at the cave and what i have in my little fridge i'm hiding food now from the mice Let's have a look. I hope there is no mice inside. No, it's off. I have banana. I have some bread. I think this is what I'm gonna have for lunch. I have some banana. I will have some bread. And oh, anchovies. Oh my goodness. Oh, I need some anchovies. No, well, actually, no, I should not. Not the anchovies. I'll have the um, tuna sauce and some prosciutto. What can be better than having lovely lunch with this view and surrounded by tiny little flowers that are starting and that um, looking really happy. I'm so surprised with this little primrose. This is the wild primrose I got from Charlotte's garden and look at her. She's huge and she's performing. I would say even better than this fancy one. I will get more of those and put them everywhere, everywhere in between the stones. So there will be a huge colony of wild primroses here. All right, um, bon appetit everyone. Oh, that feels good. Cheers. Let's 
see if it fits. Whee! Oh, that's almost perfect. I should have done it a little bit bigger, but it's fine. As then we will just fill those holes and plaster like that. It's fine, fine, fine. Good. This is the fourth layer. And I think after that, I have to go and buy more uh, cementy stuff because this is the last piece and I have the whole wall to make. Oh, it is so nice and warm outside. We have sunshine and I'm going to get some uh, mortar because my second bag has been already done, used and I hope they're still open. I really wanted it as much as I can today. So let's go and get some water. Chocolatey water. <laughs> Ta I was in time. So I got the thing. What is it? Smalta mortar. It's mortar. And I have my last brick head here. Poor thing. So I'm oh my god. Now I will clean my fingernails this evening. Um, so I'm printing this down and uh, I will do maybe not the whole thing but maybe a half so I can lay um, two or three uh, rows of the bricks but I know that when I'm finished it will be too dark so I want to have a look at the lake now oh. It is so good. It is five o'clock. Um, I will stay for one more hour. I won't do. I won't stay for too long because I want to go and see Gina this evening. They're leaving tomorrow, so have to stop by and say goodbye. What a beautiful day! Look at that. I am so happy because, well, it, it, it's all good. And I really love the tool Sergi gave me today. Here is my cutting station. And this thing is amazing because I can cut everything I like and even tiny little pieces and slices, um, as for example here. So what I have done, I'm continuing with the bricks. I didn't style the panel here eh, just because we have quite a good wall there and I don't want to break the wall um, to put the bricks. So I think we will just leave the wall and we will stick the the panels like that but this part where we have a bigger hole and enough space for bricks I will continue it with the bricks ah but here as we have all the rocks I mean um, everything loose has been taken away and now it's just solid pieces of stone uh, or like rock for example here and Whoop. I don't want to disturb, it's really solid rock here. So I cut my brick like that and it works perfectly. Look at this, with the mortar it will be perfect. Oh, I'm so pleased with the result, my goodness. Oh, I love it, really love it. so good oh it's taking shape now the fireplace <sighs> i'm not sure if i will finish i will do I, I have to finish the the rest of the mortar so i will do that and then i will go home well not home i will i will go to see gina my friend so yeah finishing this quickly and on my way for a bit of
this is my today's uh, result. I have just cleaned a little bit the mortar and it will stay like that. Uh, <laughs> quite good, really pleased with the result. Uh, the, the most important thing that it has to uh, stay well and <laughs> work well. Uh, and then um, my idea is to apply a good coat of plaster all over the fireplace inside so we will have nice and smooth uh, background for our beautiful beautiful stove so yeah and tomorrow i will continue with this project just look at all that i can't believe it these are all the presents from my friend Gina and her husband Hugh. They don't need this furniture and it is perfect for our garden. Oh, I'm so happy. And the other exciting thing is this working bench. Look at that. Look at this. It will be perfect for our working area. We, now we have to organize one. Oh, look at this. It is perfect. What a day. And um, I wish you all a very good day or night or evening. And see you tomorrow. Bye.